Egon Schiele, Reclining Woman with Green Stockings. From about 1914 on, Schiele evolved a more representational accurate style of rendering. In the process, his depictions of the female figure became more conventional, beautiful, but lost something of their frenzied intensity. The artist's lines, formerly jagged and searching, became smooth and sure capturing the curves of the body with unswerving accuracy. The complicated retracing, hatching and scroll embellishment seen in his earlier work were replaced by single perfect strokes. Color always followed line. Schiele habitually began with a vase glaze of ochre or brown, which defined the principal volumes. Over this he superimposed brief dabs of brighter gouache mapping out salient bulges and concavities and describing key protuberances such as knuckles or cheekbones. The relatively three-dimensional approach, which he used for flesh and drapery, contra con contrasted with the bolder stylization of hair and stockings. In the latter areas, the dense paint surface was essentially shaped by the flow of Schiller's brush. Growing professional success in the last two years of his life enabled Schiele to emulate his mentor, Gustav Klimt, by employing a virtual harem of paid models. Edith, the artist's wife, became increasingly reluctant to pose. The, it is said that, especially in 1918, when she was pregnant, Schiele found her figure too, too heavy for his states. Edith's sister, Adele, to the contrary, seems to have been a willing and desired model, and she may well have posed for a reclining woman with green stockings. Like claimed, Schiele saw the female figure as a raw material necessary to the construction of his allegories. And like claimed, he executed sheets and sheets of studies in order to generate pictorial ideas and compositions. The result, as well as Schiele's overriding goals, are visible in his later allegorical canvases, virtually all of which include female nudes.